Does anybody want to be featured on our YouTube channel? Camera's right there. Oh. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, we are working on, on uh, guard passing, right? So we're doing a continuation of what we were doing last week in my classes after we open up uh, the closed guard, right? So my training partner is going to be on their back, okay, just like that, and their legs are going to be up, right? So a lot of times, again, they're going to do a good job of keeping their feet right in front of me, right? So first things first is I need to have a good wrestling stance. I need to approach the, his guard with respect. You know, I can't just like haphazardly walk in and then get swept and then... I don't know now where I am, I get caught up in his guard, right? So first step is I'm gonna grab the top of his ankles and I'm gonna roll his ankles downward just like this. Now my, I, have a, I have a right leg lead, my right hand is gonna go to his hip, and now guys, I'm gonna circle and I'm gonna put my head on my shoulder on his outside knee just like this, here, okay? Guys, if Big Will doesn't do anything, like if he's relaxed, like he's not focused, I can easily swipe his legs out of the way and, and go to like a Toriando. A lot of times though, as soon as I'm going to be here, okay, Big Will's going to do strong frames. And I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit stuck. There's a little too much tension. So now, the direction of his frames is this way. So I'm going to misdirect his frames by taking a half step back. And now I'm going to bring my leg right in between his and enter into a strong knee cut position, guys. It's very important, guys, that my shoulder is going to be below um, his knee. And then I'm leaning on him. I don't want to create a gap here and a big space for his knee to come in, etc. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I have answers for that too, but I would rather be in this kind of hub like this. Now Big Will is going to do a frame across both of my... No, no, no. He's going to do... A, he's just stay, stay right here. He's going to do a frame against both of my shoulders, and I got to deal with that top frame. Guys, he can start to bring his head away, but a lot of times when he brings his head away... Go ahead, bring your head away, Big Will. If he doesn't do anything with his, with his uh, lower half, a lot of times, guys, it's not going to be too hard for me to start to take that frame out and already cover the hip. All right, I can look to pass his guard. So a lot of times, guys, he's going to have this like coil. His arm is going to be bent. Exactly. I'm going to bring my wrist to the top of his tricep. And now, guys, it's very important that I don't just try to do it from here. I need a push-pull reaction. So I'm going to start to push into Big Will. As he pushes me back, I'm going to uh, throw the arms to the other side with my slap on the hook. From here, sometimes he's going to be blocking my bicep. Sometimes the neck is already going to be open for you, for you. So I'm now going to dive, and I'm going to get a head and arm on Big Will. As soon as I have a head and arm, I'm posting my leg nice and high. Guys, do not pass yet. You don't have that good of a control yet. If his um, right arm is on, on my hips, exactly. If I pass, he can use that to regard. And now I got to, you know, re redo all my work. So as soon as you get to this spot, all right, where you did your slap on the hook, you got your head and arm, you want to pin them first. So I'm going to use my, my, my wrist to wrist to pull him in. Roll my shoulder into his neck. Big will talk to the camera. What? Good. And then I can pass. All right. Guys, if Big Will continues looking at me, I'm going to be putting my shoulder right into his trachea. It's going to be very painful. Right. So a lot of times it's a good idea is also for him to look away from me. When he looks away from me, for me it's a win-win. It's less pain for him, but, but now I'm going to have this piece of his carotid. Now his body's in a zigzag and it's going to be very hard for him to recover. All right. So again, I'm here in front of him. I'm in a good stance. Okay. So if his feet are like that, like he, go do like that. If his feet are like that, guys, look, it's going to be very easy for me to start to like throw them by and cut angles on them and stuff like that. So a lot of good players, when they're on their back, exactly, they're here. All right, this is very dangerous, guys, okay? And now, look, stay here. If I try to approach, like, he can really easily clear me with the soles of his feet, okay? So if I'm going to be in a stance. I'm going to roll the ankles down. Now I'm, it's already better, all right? Now my front hand piano goes onto the hip, okay? Now, look, I'm going to circle, and I'm bringing my, my head right into that spot. Okay, I feel he's pushing. Look at his frames, guys. As I take a half step back, I'm misdirecting him, and then I can enter into the knee cut. He has to follow and adjust. And as he follows and adjusts, you're on TV, man. Stay focused. Now I'm going to do my slap on the hook. From here, I'm going to capture my head and arm. I'm going to pull him in. Big Will, start to look away from me for your, for your, own, for your own benefit. I'm going to roll my shoulder into his neck, all right? And then I take my toe out, and now I establish a really nice tight side control. Guys, the best news is that this arm is already on, on, on the side of the Kimura, right? So if I start to switch, Kimura is going to be open right there. I already have a really nice isolation of his arm because it's not a frame on the pass. Cool? Let's give it a try, guys. Then we got a couple of parts right after. Okay? Russ, can you tell the camera, young Carlos here, what you told me about the camera adding 10 pounds? Well, I said, you know, the camera it's adds 10 pounds, but it also, uh, when you're... Demonstrating technique, it removes two stripes. So yeah. And he's being a little generous. He's being a little generous for my man. All right. So stay focused, Big Will. All right, Big Will's in there. 
All right, come on, you're debuting. All right, you took Keanu's spot, so make sure you're using it. All right, so we're here. Guys, um, so part two. I'm here, I roll his ankles downward, guys. I put my hand on the hip. Guys, a lot of times when I'm circling, I'm doing a good job of putting my head and my shoulder in this spot. Sometimes people are gonna do what I would actually do a lot of times. Me, a lot of times, I like reverse the human half guard, so I'm using this foot to hook behind the hamstring and then capturing the ankle, all right? And now, capture my ankle. I'm giving you, the, I'm giving you what you should be doing. And now, uh, you know, he, he, go, he went from a defensive cycle to an offensive cycle, right? So when you feel that foot coming, you need to re-pummel their leg and then you end up in a neon belly, all right? So the part two, I rolled, I rolled his legs downward. I came this way. He's framing. No, no, no. If he grabs my leg too early, Grab my leg too early. Guys, I'm gonna go straight from the cross face. Okay, so a lot of people, they're gonna lead with the leg first. Then they're gonna grab the, the, your ankle second. So as we're here, as he starts to hook my leg, I'm gonna re-pummel my foot and now I can end up in a neon belly position. All right, from the neon belly position, I can stay here. Well, for a lot of us, we're also gonna feel like we're gonna have to cover the hips. So I'm gonna go down to both knees and cover and end up in the top side control position, all right? So again, you're just gonna have to time that. So part two, I rolled the ankles downward. I, I came to my spot. As he starts to go for his foot, I'm gonna re-pummel, push his leg out of the way, beautiful. And now I bring him neon belly. If he's turned away from me here, a lot of times I'm already gonna go for my back six, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So just anticipate it, and after, you're able to uh, land in a really, really strong spot. Cool? Let's go, guys. Guys, so third piece, and then we're gonna put everything together, right? So the third piece, um, if I'm able to close the distance on Big Will and get my head and my shoulder right in this pocket right over here, it's gonna be very hard for him to do a leg pummel with, with that leg, right? But uh, inevitably, inevitably um, he's, gonna, he's sometimes going to be able to do it on his own accord or create enough space to do that, right? So I rolled it down, and now, guys, look, I'm getting to my spot, but now, as soon as I get here, he pummels and he puts his foot right inside my shoulder. And now, guys, it's going to be really hard for me to do anything. He can push off and, and square up with me again, and now, even worse, look to tie me up and get hooks, get grips, get different guards, right? So that's one of the, with the better answers that he can do uh, while I'm going for the Toriando, while I'm creating my angle, right? Pummeling that leg high. So guys, I'm gonna treat it like a boxing hook. Like if there's a hook that's coming in, I'm gonna bob myself underneath it and then I'm gonna use a hip grip, a scoop grip, to get myself under it and assist myself, right? So everything is the same. I roll the ankles down. And now guys, look, I'm coming to the, wait for me. I'm coming around to the side. As Soon as I'm here, guys, as he goes with his leg, I duck underneath it and now I grab the hip. As Soon as I grab the hip, now I'm gonna transfer my hand to the other, to the, um, other ankle to pin it momentarily, guys. And now my job is gonna to be to, um, to knee, knee cut across his bottom leg with the near leg that's closest to him, just like that. I end up on this side, guys. Okay, guys, a lot of us get into the habit of just like, all right, cool, we celebrate, and we're like, all right, we got a pass. But it, we don't have a pass yet, guys. There's a few things that Big Will can do. First of all, if you, lose a, if you lose your bite on this hip, if like your hand is open, like I've seen people do that this week where their hand is like this, he can look to turn his hip and get his knee in front of me. His knee, just your knee, you can, that's even worse. Just get your knee in front of me, here, like that. And now, take the other leg and throw the other leg over and look to regard. Even worse for me is if he brought that leg all the way over, right? But if I'm like leaning on him, it's gonna be hard to throw the leg, but it's not gonna be too hard to put that knee. Like that, okay? So, you need to have a really nice bite on that hip. Secondly, they're gonna try to frame on their way in, right? So as you're coming in, they're gonna try to frame and block you, right? So I'm gonna have to do a good job of securing the head and bringing my knee into the right spot. But guys, this arm needs to become an underhook so that I can look to get offense. So Big Will is gonna hip escape into me a little bit. I'm gonna follow him, I'm gonna follow him. My hand is gonna block his hip. I'm gonna replace my hand with my own knee and then ultimately I'm gonna take my hand out and it becomes my underhook on the far side. I got my points and everything is good, all right? So there's a, a last step of finishing touch that's very important to practice too. So don't end the rep early, okay? So again, once more, the whole sequence. So I'm here with Big Will, I roll his ankles down. My hand goes onto his hip, I circle, and then now I create a little space, he pummels, I'm gonna anticipate and catch. I knee cut across, as soon as I knee cut across, he's gonna look to turn into me a little bit. Sometimes I'm gonna be able to secure a near side underhook. Go ahead, we'll hip escape a little bit. I'm gonna bring my knees nice and high, block his hip, secure the head control, bring my knee into the spot, bring my underhook, and now everything is good, all right? So again, you're gonna have to dive underneath and knee cut and end up on the opposite side. Cool, any questions guys? We're good to go, let's get it.